Greetings from Mark Hoverson. Hope you are doing well. You ever notice how pumped up people get before they watch the Super Bowl? You know, there's all the anticipation. There's the pregame, the whole, the hoopla and all that. And have you ever noticed those long lines outside of the movie theater before the opening of like a Batman or a Spider-Man movie where everybody's kind of just, there's this electricity in the air, this anticipation. Um, that's the kind of anticipation I'd like you to bring into this video. And here's why. Because you're about to see probably for the first time a wealth recipe that actually works. It's the exact same thing that snapped the chains of my poverty. And it's really not an exaggeration to say that what I'm about to show you literally snapped chains of poverty in my life. I've shared a little bit in the past how I used to lay awake at night and my jaw would be clenched like almost like a lock jaw. I remember feeling it right in the base of my face because I was so stressed about the bills. One night in the middle of the winter, we woke up and we could see our breath. We were shivering in the middle of the night in our little trailer because we ran out of propane in the winter. So we call the company, the propane company, at 3 a.m. in the morning, and I have to explain to this guy with a baby infant being held by my wife, and we're shivering, and I have to explain that we can't pay him to fill up our propane, but would he do it anyway? And he wasn't mean. I mean, he did it, but the credit cards were maxed, and we had no cash in the bank, and that's just where we were. So my wife and I, I mean, it was an ugly situation. We didn't. We couldn't afford the dentist for a few years. Um, I didn't go to the dentist until my teeth hurt so badly I had to go, and it was the same deja vu over again. I had to explain to the dentist that I just couldn't pay him, but that I'd, I'd do what I could, and I think I wrote him a check for like $8 or something. I mean, this kind of humiliation is is where I was. And these experiences, the good thing, though, was they taught me early in life the pain and the price of poverty. And then I made a decision one day, and I, I really made the decision over and over and over several times, but that I was never going to put myself or my family in that position again. It was a very emotional thing. And right now, what you're about to discover is the exact same wealth philosophy in the system that flipped our lives around once we saw it. I mean, our whole lives changed. So grab your favorite drink, take out a pen and notepad, shut off your cell phone, tell your kiddos... Tell the spouse to just chill, leave you alone for a little bit. And in less time than it takes to watch a movie, the entire storyline of your life could change. Now, here's how, so pay attention. Remember what I revealed to you in the Fast Money acronym lately? I basically told you everything you don't want in a business and everything that you do want in a business. So let's just do a quick refresher. Number one, you don't want a business that is limited by store hours or geographical location. These models are cramped and they're not scalable. Your business should be able to handle 100 orders in a day just as easily as it handles one order without any extra work or time on your part. Now that might sound like it's an impossible equation, but it's not. That's what scalable means. And, and take a note of this, only a digital product offers you total scalability because it's easily duplicated and delivered without heavy machinery, manufacturing costs, pricey shipping, and all that stuff. And also, only an internet business allows your business to be taking in money 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with total disregard to store hours or any geographical location. I mean, you can be taking in sales from Australia while you're sleeping. Happens every day for me. That's part of the secret. Now, in fact, one of the greatest discoveries of our generation, and I'm talking about, I would rank it right up there, and this is pushing it, but I'd write it, rank it right up there with space travel. I think one of the greatest discoveries of our generation is an invention that I call the ESW, which stands for Effective Selling Website. And here's why. Because I like to call these selling websites the perfect employees. They're Android earners because, check this out, they never complain, they never get tired, they never call in sick, they never ask for a raise, they always do exactly what you tell them to do, and they're also the perfect salesman. They deliver the same powerful presentation with the same enthusiasm hundreds of times a day. They don't get moody. All the while, you can be chilling at the beach or reading a book or playing with your grandkids 
doing whatever. This is ESW, the Effective Selling Website, and it's really the greatest, it's one of the greatest discoveries of our generation. And make a note of this, an effective selling website with a high digital scalable product is the ultimate recipe for wealth. And that's what I'm talking to you about today. Here's another thing. You don't want a business that is not highly automated. And here's why. Because if you're sitting on the phone all day making sales, taking orders, managing people, you're going to miss your kids' baseball games, their field trips, your golf game's going to go to hell. You're going to resist wanting to go on vacations because your business is so you dependent. And if you leave it, it's like a baby left out in the cold. You're going to have to rush back to it to save it. That's not a, that's not a healthy business model. And it's sad to say, but most people who have enough guts and courage to actually start their own business really end up just buying themselves a job full of headaches. And you want time freedom, and only an automated business can bring you that. Here's another thing. You don't want a business that doesn't provide you with the leverage of other people's effort. Burn that into your mind, other people's effort. See, in the past, those efforts usually have been through employees who typically just give a so-so effort on your part. So there's only so much leverage because employees generally work just hard enough to not get fired and they usually get paid just enough not to quit. So the new way of leveraging other people's efforts is through using someone else's product, someone else's creation, someone else's system, someone else's proven effective selling website, someone else's marketing, and even someone else's money to finance your climb into financial freedom. And I'll tell you more about how to tap into all that in a minute. But no, I just, I got to share this little secret about how to use other people's money right now. I call it the magic of turning soft money into hard money. And this concept blew my mind. I've taught it to many young entrepreneurs and it's freed them from really the shackles of just small thinking. So pay attention. Here's what I mean. I used credit on my credit cards to finance my business. Okay. I call that soft money because it's not actually my money. It's Visa's money. It's soft. It's someone else's. And then with that soft money, I created a business that also received soft money from others, meaning 95% of transactions are on a credit card and that's soft money. But here's where the magic kicks in, okay? So I start with soft money, then people start buying my stuff with soft money too, but when Visa deposits that money into my checking account, it turns into hard money. And literally, I can go into my bank and pull out $100 bills. It turns into hard, real money. That's how you use other people's money, soft money, and you turn it into hard money. It's one of the most beautiful concepts. Again, it's unique to our generation, and I'll teach you more about it later. Now, another thing you don't want are low-ticket products only. Okay, a little bit of low-ticket items are not bad, but if you just stick with low-ticket items, it's going to equal low profits. And with low profits, it's going to require lots of low-paying clients, which usually mean lots of expensive customer service, lots of headaches too. You want big and juicy profits. For me, the $1,000 profits is the sweet spot in my life. It's what we're going to talk about today. And when your ESW, your effective selling website, makes you $1,000 profits, you start looking at the world in $1,000 chunks. It gets different because if you're working, if you're trading time for money, you know, a, a purchase, you're thinking, oh, do you have to work three weeks to pay for that? But if you have an ESW that makes you $1,000 chunks, a million-dollar home might have a monthly payment of $7,000. So in your head, you just say to yourself, okay, that's just seven sales from my ESW. And if you want to drive a dream luxury car, they're usually less than $1,000 a month. You look at the monthly payment as less than one sale from your effective, welling se from your es effective selling website. So if a dream African safari costs $8,000, you just say that's eight sales from my website. That's how I have literally lived and breathed the last few years. And I'm going to show you how you can in a moment. But the nicest part, the really the cream of the crop of having a high-end high ticket product is not just the thousand dollar commissions it's the fact that it guarantees that only higher end people will be your client and here's why you only want higher end clients because they're usually professional and more agreeable people they tend to make buying decisions more on quality and less on just trying to find the cheapest thing out there they rarely complain they obviously have more money to spend and they're usually more interesting and fun so this means they're more socially connected to the world. So after they have a good experience with your website, 
they can actually refer you to other powerful people in their network and you can continue to broaden your influence and just make the story of your life a lot more unique. I mean, my the most exciting things in my life have come from people that have bought from my ESW, my effective selling website. And it's because I cater to higher end people, it leads to more higher end people. If you only have a low ticket product, you're going to be stuck and struggling. Now, also at the end of the day, the reason you want to work with high-end people is it's just an honor to serve them and to have them as your clientele versus if you just sell cheapo things, little gimmicky things, you're going to end up dealing with people who often want something for nothing. They're usually big complainers. They don't have much money to buy things anyway. They generally are more suspicious. They're more cynical. They have loads of drama in their life that they're going to want to puke on you. So take my warning on this point and be very close because I didn't know this at first. If you don't have a high-end clientele and you don't deal mainly with classy people, you're going to want to crawl into a cave with a bottle of vodka and some Twinkies and just get the hell out of there because low-paying clienteles will drive you crazy. You're going to thank me for this tip as you develop into an online marketer. You want high-ticket products because it attracts high-end people who are less drama. And here's another detail. You certainly don't want a product that is not in line with popular trends. For instance, if your product is a chalkboard, that's a bad sign. If it's pipe organ sales, that's really not a good model. You want the make money at home online digital product, that would be good because that's where society is going. It's going online. People are looking to make more money online because of the recession and, and various factors. So here's the kicker though. Is it really possible to find a business model that matches perfectly with all that intense criteria that I've been teaching you lately? I mean, is finding a business that fits that fast money acronym really even possible? Well, what if I told you we've tested a business model that met the key criteria and it generated over $45 million in sales? You'd like to hear about that business, wouldn't you? I call it the E-System. And I'd like you to show you how it works right now. So buckle up, and here we go. We have three different levels of our e-system, from the advanced and expensive E1 system, which is designed really for the experienced professional, probably the type of person who's looking to buy a traditional franchise, successful real estate investors, those kind of people. That's our E1 crowd, all the way to the discount and more practical E3, and those are designed for the newbie, the beginner, the person with no computer experience, the person without much money. That would be me when I got started. I mean, think of it like a rock concert. You know, there's the famous, the cheap seats, which still get you inside and give you a chance to experience all the glories of the concert. Those seats are really affordable and gives just about anybody who wants to a chance to get inside the concert. The cheap seats would be our version of the E3 system. But every concert also has the front row seats that come with the backstage passes, the limos, the meeting the, the band in the back, and the whole shebang. That would be our E1 system. So both tickets get you into the exact same concert, but there are different levels of seating for every budget. And that's how I've designed our E system. I've made a legitimate wealth vehicle available to just about everyone which is the E3 package. But I also have the front row backstage passes option, which is the E1, and the E2 is in the middle range for that person that's kind of caught in between both worlds, and that's our most, most popular. So stick with me because we're about to have some fun. And just so you know, unlike pricey franchises in the $100,000 range, my e-systems are a fraction of that cost, but they're actually way better, not just because they're cheaper either, and you'll see why in a minute. I got to share something that's kind of like, er, kind of irks me. I just saw an ad online from a top university that's offering a certificate in online marketing. That's what it's called, a certificate in online marketing course. They charge $6,000 just for that education. I mean, and that's okay, but I mean, do you really think those professors teaching that certificate course in online marketing have earned millions online? I don't think so.